Welcome to Women Awakening. I'm Cynthia James, and this network is about changing lives one woman at a time. Hello, and welcome to Women Awakening. We are changing lives one woman at a time. We're changing the world one woman at a time. I'm Cynthia James. I'm your host, and I'm really grateful to bring women to you from all over this planet who are doing extraordinary things, bringing their light and their gifts and their talents to the planet. My guest today is Betsy Abrams. She is the CEO of the Five Wellbeing Yoga Studio and Spa. She's been in my life for a lot of years, and I will talk about how this spa got birthed in just a moment. So, Betsy, welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad happy to be here. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm glad you're here. So, so um, tell us about what makes this yoga studio and spa different. You know, why did you want to do this? So the main reason I wanted to um, do this is I recognized that people were, um, there was not a place for people to really take it down a few notches. And I always liked the spa business. I love spas for myself. And I thought if I could combine a well-being experience um, with the spa experience, what, what could people actually um, garner from that? And uh, the, the way I describe well-being is that it's an inside job um, versus maybe going out and getting some wellness things where, you know, you're taking a supplement, you're going to a doctor, you're getting an adjustment from a chiropractor. This is something that you do yourself, that you show up for yourself. Um, and um, in, in the, the results are amazing. People are really experiencing uh, fantastic um, shifts in their life, but also just deeper relaxation. Yeah. So um, you were in one of my classes many years ago, and you stood up and said, I have this idea. I want to create this spa that's different than anything else. I don't know how to do a spa. And I, at the moment, I don't have any money, but this is a dream. I want to know how'd you get from dream to reality? Okay. So, um, of course, uh, that, that was, was really significant for me to stand up and actually say what I wanted. So that was saying it out loud, huge. Um, and I think once you say something out loud, you, you know, the universe, when it hears you, it sort of starts to open the doors. And, um, um, on, on one kind of sad note, what was going on with me at the time is my husband was really ill and um, he ended up passing from pancreatic cancer. And when he passed, I literally was like, life is so short. If I don't do this, when will I? So um, I was, um, you know, uh, I was able to um, use some of the money that I received from an insurance settlement um, with, from life insurance from my husband to get the business started and all the people just started showing up. And every time I wanted to give up, somebody else would show up and it would, it just, did, I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, and, and that's incredible. And that, that's an important thing for anybody listening. You know, it's not like you have a vision and a dream and then poof, it just happens. There's right. a journey and there are hills and valleys that happen, but to keep moving and to keep trusting that you're going to be supported is extraordinary. So tell us, tell us some of the things that make your yoga studio and spa different. So uh, we use a lot of sound vibration in the spa because what sound vibration does is it calms the central nervous system down, which is the key to like well-being. Period. So um, in our yoga studio, our floor, the entire floor, is sound vibrational. So when uh, the yoga class is going on, um, the, the the music is going right through the floor. And it actually is calming your central nervous system down while you're doing yoga, which also is very calming. Uh, we also use a, um, the Tibetan bowls, uh, the 5,000-year-old uh, sound therapy in our every treatment that we do. So uh, that, that helps us to get the, have the client receive that central nervous, um, calming down that central nervous system before they get a treatment. And then the treatment is just above and beyond. And then we also have uh, three chairs that you can lounge in. Um, it's a 30-minute treatment, and it's $29. So it's a pretty affordable to come in and get a 
a fix, if you will. Um, and the sound vibrational chairs, 30 minutes is like four hours of sleep. So um, most people, when I say that, go, wow, I could use that, which tells me there's a lot of people that need that relaxation. Uh -huh. So, um, so yeah, so the sound vibration is sort of unique um, for us as compared to other places. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, every time I go there, I, I walk out feeling like I need a limo to drive me home. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's been the biggest challenge for you in this experience of becoming a CEO? Well, I think the biggest, um, the biggest challenge is, is, the per is probably just on the personal side because I tend to have a really big heart and um, I trust people implicitly. And I've run into a few issues with um, key employees, not just, you know, somebody who's, um, you know, running the front desk. I mean, managers and people that I thought I could trust that ended up not uh, working out and having to really face that and deal with it was um, not fun. And, and at the same time, it was freeing uh, because I have to admit the people that this happened with came in at the right time, I probably just let them stay a little bit too long. Mm. So, you know, yeah. yeah, I think, and I think, you know, people in general, women in particular, this is, this is a hard thing. It's like, we don't want to hurt people's feelings. We don't, we don't want them to feel like they're not, that they're not important. And yet, and let, at some point you got to make a decision what's better for the whole. Right. 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 And right. one of the things I found though, is that I can actually be kind mm -hmm. and get what I need which was, uh, you think, the biggest learning for me. The difficulty was in real getting to that point. But once I was able to use my voice and be authentic and real and I can be kind, um, it, it, really, uh, it really worked out to, to everyone's benefit. I love that. So yeah. what, do you think, what do you think women are struggling with the most, you know, in general? What do you, what do you think women struggle with the most? Well, I think confidence in, 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 in who they are and what they're doing. I think um, there's still, there's so much more confidence, but I also still think that people, women tend to um, back down a little bit too much when they're faced with a difficult situation. I also think that um, women tend to acquiesce a little bit, which I guess is the same thing as backing down. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're nurturers. And when you're a nurturer, it, you know, you want everyone to be happy. And, um, and so you're the last one on the list. And, and that still happens to this day. And I know that because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And I think we're all working with that. I mean, you know, it's, it's how we've been enculturated. It's how, it's how we've been taught, you know, put other people first and then get to you. But right. it takes a toll and has an impact. So right. I want to know how people find you? How, how do they connect with you and, and your beautiful yoga studio and spa? Um, we are in Littleton, Colorado. Um, and we have a website, uh, of course, and it's five wellbeing spelled out F I V E W E L L B E I N G.com. And you can check out all of our services and yoga classes and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Um, and we'd love to see you there well, and help you take care of your wellbeing. Yeah, and I just want to say uh, I'm a fan and um, go there as often as I can and tell everybody I know to go there. So, so Five Wellbeing Spa. No, just FiveWellbeing.com. Five mm -hmm. FiveWellbeing.com. So, um, so Betsy CEO, what do you want women to know about their awakening? What's, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You know, that, that you can do it you know, you can do it. I, you know, I was faced with, you know, losing my husband. I had a seven-year-old daughter and I did this and I didn't do it to prove anything. I did it because I need, I, I needed to. And, and one of the things that, that you say, Cynthia, all the time is that the world is waiting. The world is waiting for you. And you basically have a duty to come forward to, to share your gifts. And I think when you start to awaken to that and you start to realize that there are possibilities out there and there's people to support you. And I think if you can find the right group of people to support you, like I did in the awe group, uh, you know, the, the sky's the limit mm -hmm. is my opinion. Thank you so much. I'm so 
honored to know you. It's so exciting to watch what's happening with you and your business and your life. And, and I'm grateful that you've been here. And ladies, what I want you to know is, is that you're important, that you matter. Whatever your dream, whatever your vision, whatever your idea, you know, it's because something in you wants to birth it and there's a delivery system for it. So I, I hope you will keep listening to this podcast. I hope you'll come back time and time again because we're bringing women to you that are, are, are taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary. You know, it's not that they're famous or, 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 or that they, they've come here to, um, um, to be like uh, stars. It's that they bring their star quality to whatever they're doing. So please come back and visit us. So grateful. And um, I'm so grateful to be your host. Bye. Bye.